about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on. Hello, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Liana, and I have been pen paling for over 10 years. I believe I am very experienced with pen paling, and I wanted to make a video and give a mini guide on how to start pen paling. I'll remind you that you need a little bit better care of yourself. These are a few supplies I keep handy when I'm writing letters. Envelopes of any type, does not matter if they're cute or not. Paper to write the letter with, no need to get fancy at all. Honestly, I usually just use loose leaf paper. Scraps of paper from other projects or packaging that was cute and cutouts from packaging or other letters that you receive. I just have a box full of scraps that I use to decorate with. Old books to rip pages from. I love using old books. I think it makes it look fun and vintage. Stickers and washi tape samples I put in every letter as a little gift for my pen pal. These I got from Wish and they actually came pretty fast for Wish. And I also have a few cutouts and other stickers that I've received from other pen pals. And these are just a few of my washi tapes. These are even more stickers. I have a lot of sticker sheets that I use to decorate envelopes and letters with. I will also sometimes cut them out and gift them to pen pals as well, but these are my main stickers that I use. Stamps with fun designs. I like using stamps that are cute and not just the American flag. These are my main writing utensils from left to right is the Uniball Signo white pen, the Uniball Signo green pen, Pilot V5, a Papermate mechanical pencil, and a pen that I found on Amazon. Crayola markers to doodle and to add some color. I have the big 100 pack of these, so I have a fun variety of all sorts of shades of the rainbow, which are really fun to use. And the last thing, which is the most extra and not necessary for pen paling, is my wax seal for envelopes. I was gifted this from a friend. It has an L and it makes my letters look very formal and professional and like they came out of the 1800s, which that's what I'm going for. I write to my pen pal. I always read their latest letter they send me again because usually when I get the letter, I don't respond back immediately since I like to block out a chunk of my day that is just dedicated to pen paling back to all of my pen pals. And today I am responding back to my dear pen pal Ariana who is in the Pacific Northwest. She always sends me really cute letters and this one is no exception. After I refresh my mind on the content of their letter, I begin writing mine. There isn't one way to write a letter, but I'll explain the main four things I do when I write a letter to my pen pals. Number one, I always decorate the envelope first. It gives me a color scheme and it sets the mood for the theme of the letter. Note, 
you don't have to make a theme at all. I just think it's fun and it makes it personable for your pen pal. Maybe they like the beach or cats or the A's. Number two, after I will write the letter back, keeping my pen pal's letter close so I can respond to everything they've written to me about. I want to make sure I'm addressing any questions they might have asked me or any events in their life that they've updated me on and I want to respond back to those. Number three, like I said earlier, I will include a few stickers and washi tape samples, which is when you wrap a piece of washi tape around paper for your pen pal to use in their future letters. And I will generally put them in a tiny envelope all together, like I did in this letter, or I will use a paper clip to attach them all together. It's just a fun little gift that comes with your letter that I think is really neat and something that the pen pal community likes to do. Number four. Most of my pen pals and I exchange questions and answers, which is just three to six questions that are fun and interesting so we get to know each other better. This is different from the letter, so I will write them on index cards or scrap pieces of paper and I will make those look pretty as well. I like coming up with questions to ask my pen pals every time and to get started, I would ask the most basic questions and every few letters you will see that the questions will start to get more personal, which is really awesome. I will now leave you to listen to some fun music while I finish this letter. And this is the final letter. I really like how this one came out. I think it's super pretty and that I kept a really consistent theme going on. I also hope you enjoyed my little guide on pen palling. If you liked it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I hope that you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever. See you next time!